This is CNN Breaking News. This breaking news now, the death toll in the Philippines could reach 1,200 or even higher from Typhoon Haiyan. The storm packed nearly 200 mile per hour winds with gusts reaching 235 miles an hour when it came ashore. Storm chaser James Reynolds captured these remarkable pictures of this typhoon as it was happening. He joins us now by phone from Cebu City, Philippines. So James, we're looking at these images right now uh, of this blowing uh, wind and rain and seeing these trees being bent like they're nothing. Uh, give me an idea what it was like, uh, how you had the wherewithal to keep shooting these pictures as all this was happening, seeing this torrential rain now coming down the stairs of this one building you're in. Yeah, it was absolute full on unimaginable chaos during the height of the typhoon. We were in a solid concrete building which we could feel uh, shaking as, as massive bits of debris were crashing into it. The air was filled with, with rain traveling at you know, over, well over 100 miles an hour. The, the water was just coming in from every direction into the hotel. You could see the water just cascading down the stairs into all the rooms. The windows were blowing out, giant shards of glass everywhere, um, big pieces of metal flying through the air. It was just an extremely hazardous situation. And then the water started rising, and the storm surge came in, was flooding the entire ground floor level of the hotel, and our trapped residents were in a desperate state trying to escape from the rising floodwaters. So Jesus. And then, James, we're looking at these images right now uh, that you shot with, uh, it looks like a woman is on uh, some sort of pad that was pushed, you know, uh, by other people on this high water, these rescues taking place. Maybe that's a mattress. Describe for me the extent of which people were going to save one another. Yeah, it, it was a case of you know, there were people trapped on the ground floors as the water was rising, and it was rising so quickly. You know, within a matter of minutes, it was uh, three, four feet high, and the, these people on the ground floor were trapped in their room and desperate. The door was jammed, they couldn't open it, and they were resorting to smashing the glass to try and get out uh, um, to, to safety. And, you know, they needed help, so um, some of the crew I was with, uh, they went out, they managed to find a flotation device, a mattress, uh, there were a couple of elderly, uh, infirm people who could, could not get out themselves. So uh, they managed to get them onto the mattress and, and, and bring them to safety. It was, it was a really close call, and I, I'm, I'm happy to report that in our hotel, uh, no one died. Producer. And James, I understand you're a storm chaser. You do this for a living. You go to uh, places where dangerous weather uh, is threatening. But how did you find yourself in the Philippines? And while you were there, was there ever a moment where you thought to yourself, Maybe this is not such a good idea to be here during this storm. Yeah, this was uh, uh, the, the top scale and, and the off the scale in, in terms of, 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 of weather events. The science, this is one of the strongest storms to ever make landfall in, in recorded history. That just goes to show the, the magnitude of the event from the weather perspective. And it happens to have hit one of the, the most vulnerable countries in the world. So it, it's been a double hit in that respect. Um, we prepared ourselves as best I could because we had water, food to last us at, at least a week. Um, but nothing can prepare you for the sight of a whole city block burning uncontrollably, uh, bodies being pulled out of the rubble, uh, you know, people walking the streets shell shock. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's impossible to prepare yourself for, for these scenes, for Duca. Yes, being through a storm, harrowing, dangerous, but sometimes even in the aftermath, it is equally uh, dangerous. So uh, be safe there. James Reynolds, uh, thanks so much for bringing us these images, giving us a better view of what the people there, including yourself, have endured and continue to endure. Thank you, James. We'll be right back with much more from the newsroom.